So I'm here to tell you about my current setup for my Artest TRX4. It's a pretty fascinating vehicle. Love it. Um, here it is. So it's not running any bumpers. Not really needed. Sliders by RC four wheel drive. But and just the stock radio. But here's the touches. Notice that the 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 fenders are cut. The fenders hang down here, and that's really a problem. You know, at full actuation and when you're turning. So you gotta cut the the ones that overhang. And here we cut the body in the back. It's really even without the bumpers. At the at the limits, that's what was limiting its approach angle and departure angle. So we fix that. It still looks good, right? And here is really cool. Notice how small my doors are. If you look at real four-wheel drive vehicles, one by ones, you know they're very small because uh, the sliders are protecting the doors, and the sliders hang so low. And I'll start. I'll open this and I'll start with the sliders. And here's what we did with the sliders. Aside from having aftermarket sliders RC four wheel drive they were still way in the way so I elevated them with these little shock mounts nice little elevation there huh so now they're at the level of the uh, the sides they're higher than your center but really as soon as the tire clears a rock it's gonna go on your sliders so um, this really helps a lot. Okay, the rest of the setup is like this. We have a Bauhaus low CG battery tray. Uh, and we have a Gensei's 4300 LIHV. LIHV is cool because instead of 11.1 volts, it's 11.4 volts. So it gives your motor a little more pop at a little bit more runtime. Uh, running the venerable 1080 Hobbywing ESC, 43 bucks with a switch, so awesome. Uh, Savox 1210 servo right here. A little demonstration, please. This thing allows, uh, can drive the servo at 7.4 volts, which gives it a 25% boost in speed and torque. And now to the latest editions, the Holmes Hobbies Crawlmaster Pro 10 turn motor. So there's a 10 turn motor, you expect, oh man, that's gonna be a little fast, but that's just for the pop. As far as speed is concerned, it is just incredible. So here it is, let me demonstrate. That's how slow this motor is and how easy it is to control. This is really fascinating. And even at this slow speed, it has torque. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed our little show and tell of our current test vehicle. We're, te we're using this to test to do a lot of tire shootouts. Uh, and this is our test course here. And uh, right close to home. Thanks a ton.